Hello open source silicon enthusiasts and welcome to another monthly roundup where we look at what happened in the last month and some things coming up in the future. So let's get started. First thing I want to kick off with is if you missed Teo's talk on his hardware optimized adders, that's well worth a check. Um, I've got the links to the live stream and his presentation here. And it has turned into quite a cool project that we're doing inside the Zero to ASIC course. I'm getting some help from some experts in there, helping me to um, instrument the adder so we can see how fast it is. So we have a loop here, a ring oscillator loop, and by controlling the signals here, we can either make the loop short, long, or include the adder, each bit of the adder. And then using this part down here, we can count how long it takes how many ring oscillations we get in a certain amount of time and that's going to allow us to see how fast the adder is. We've got some digital traces here that show that everything is working and I've also done some analog simulation to characterize how fast the ring oscillator is. It's looking about 250 megahertz um, but we divide that down by two with this flip-flop so this counter is going to be counting at about 120 megahertz this one is going to be counting at the clock frequency, so maybe 10 megahertz. So we'll divide one by the other after a certain run, and that will get the speed. I've just been working on hardening the individual adders. So Teo's got us four different options to choose from, looking at different uh, power performance area. And I've just added this to the 0 to ASIC MPW6 submission. So these five on the right-hand side are four different adders, and then the standard Yosis one. If you're looking to get involved in MPW6, it's still not too late. I've got some good resources for you. First of all, um, you can check this MPW6 walkthrough video I did for eFabulous, and we go through everything you need to um, get the tools installed, add a custom project, and then run through pre-check and tape out jobs. And if that's not enough, we've also got public open source ASIC office hours, and the last one is happening at Tuesday at 5 p.m. Central European Summertime. So join the Skywater Slack and look in the announcements channel for the joining details. Google have published the open source Silicon developer portal and it's worth having a look. They've got links to all the top level resources and lots of good stuff in there. So take a look at that. I'm going to be presenting my work on open source chip design tools at the Free Silicon Conference in Paris and that's happening on the 7th, 8th and 9th of July. So if you're in Europe or in Paris and you want to meet up, then just let me know and it'll be great to meet up there. Made a bit of progress on the epoxy dies. I've got a kind of demonstration kit from Jen who I'm working with to do the uh, work and embedding the dies in epoxy. Inside the box you get a, a little printed picture of the die and information on all the projects that went into it. Then inside some bubble wrap we've got a nice cube. The cube was the best, the highest voted one. So inside there we've got some MPW1 dies and this is going to be quite a nice collector's item because there's only a few bare dies available. So if you're interested in getting hold of one of those, then stay tuned, join the newsletter, and I'll be dropping more information when I get it. And finally, we've been making a bit of progress on the fib edit. We've decided to not do this in person, but we're working as a remote team, me, Sylvain Monod, and Olivier at Texplained. And the first part is doing some wire bonding on the chips to get them ready for testing and then do the edit after that. So Olivia sent me this lovely video of them testing out the wire bonding and checking that they can get the chips up and running. So we'll be doing a more in-depth video on this coming up soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So that's it for this month. If I missed anything, then just let me know in the comments. If you want me to plug your project, conference or your work, then just get in touch via LinkedIn or YouTube or on Twitter.